This is a sample answer to the question three on paper one of the 2021 uh, Leaving Cert maths paper. So in question three, it gave us a diagram of a cuboid and it gave us the dimensions of the cuboid being X multiplied by Y multiplied by Z. They gave us the area of the three faces as per the diagram and they wanted us to find the volume of the cuboid. Different ways that you could look at it. Uh, what I'm going to use here is the knowledge of prisms. So a prism is where you have a shape with the same um, cross-sectional area and then I'm going to multiply it basically by the depth of the shape. So to get the volume of that triangular shape, I get the area of the face multiplied by the depth. And that's what I'm going to do here. So all I have to do on this question is basically I need to figure out either the value of Z, the value of X or the value of Y and multiply it then by its corresponding um, surface area of one of the sides. So what do we know? When we're trying to find the volume of a object, so of our cuboid here, our volume is going to be length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So in other words, in this shape, our length, width and height is X multiplied by Y multiplied by Z. So that's what we need to use. And all I need to do now is find either the volume of X, Y or Z as we said. So what do we know? We know the area of our three faces. So look at the area of this particular face. So that is length by width, which would be X multiplied by height. So X multiplied by Z is giving me an area of two root two. If I come over and do something similar to the next face, so this front face here, that is going to be Y multiplied by Z. And it has an area of eight multiplied by root six, so eight root six. And then my third face on the top of the cuboid is going to be X multiplied by Y, which is giving me an area of four root three. So I'm just basically writing down what I know. Now, two of these have an X term in them, X, Z, and XY. So I'm just going to manipulate those and I'm going to divide across by Z on the first one. So I have X is equal to two root two all over Z. And on the third one here, I can also have X is equal to four root three divided by Y. So I have two values for X. So that means that both of those are equal to each other. So that's something I can now state. So I can now state, so therefore, I now have two root two divided by Z is equal to four root three divided by Y. And I'm just gonna use some simple cross multiplication now. And that is gonna give me Y times two root two is equal to Z times four root three. So I've just used some cross multiplication there, that's all. And I'm gonna get Y on its own. So I'm gonna divide across by two root two. So that means that Y is equal to uh, Z. Let's put that Z in a bracket. Four root three, all divided by two root two. So I'm dividing across by that two root two there. That's all I've done. Now, if you go to your calculator and divide four root three by two root two, it simplifies as root six. So therefore, Y is equal to root six Z. And you can put that Z in a bracket. Just make sure that it's outside of the square root. So that's what we know. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back to this middle uh, section here. Y times Z is equal to eight root six. So let's write that down. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to take this section here. So I know that Y times Z is equal to eight root six. Now I'm going to make a substitution here. I'm going to substitute my value for Y that I got down here on the left hand side. So my value for Y is root six Z. So I'm substituting now my Y for root six times Z. And don't forget then that that has been multiplied by this Z. And when I multiply Z by Z, we get Z squared. So that's giving me root six Z squared is equal to eight root six. And to get Z squared on its own, I'm gonna divide across by root six. So eight times root six all over root six. Root six divided by root six is just one. So Z squared is equal to eight. And then my final solution for Z is going to be the square root of eight. So we now have 
the value of one of our sides. Now you can write that as two root two if you want, it's all the same, I'm just gonna leave it there as uh, root eight. So I'm gonna come back up to my picture now. So I have found my z to be root eight. So I'm just gonna mark that in here. So I have z as root eight. And what does that mean? So in order to get the volume of that box, it means that I'm now going to take the face of my top part of the box. So this one here. So that's the surface area of my, or my cross-sectional area, as we call it. And I'm going to multiply it then by the depth of the shape, which is this Z. So that's going to use my knowledge of prisms. So if I multiply four root three by root eight, I will get the volume of that shape. So my final answer is, so therefore my volume is going to be um, four root three, I think was the area, wasn't it? It was four root three times root eight and four root three by root eight is giving me eight root six. And it doesn't simplify and it's in centimeters cubed. So that is the volume of that cuboid.